Hi guys, Nate Otter here. Welcome back to another unboxing video on the channel. It is time to unbox the latest pop and candy. I've got two little boxes. I think they must have run out of single boxes. Dogs here. Um, yeah, so we've got two boxes to undo. One's got the poppings, it's light, I'm guessing, and the other one's full of candy because it's very heavy. Let's open it up and let's have a look. So as always, we get a pop and candy postcard and we get the bit on the back that says about what it is, but this is the pop and candy one. You've seen these before. That's what we normally get. Let's have a look at the first actual proper item. Pocky. We like Pocky, the little biscuity thing with the crunchy bit on the end. And this is an almond, almond flavored biscuit stick, or almond taste biscuit stick coated with almond flavored confectionery and crushed almonds as well. It's an almond fest, basically. Are you okay there, dog? It's an almond fest, Pockies. Very good. Next, we have some Smarties. These we've had in another unboxing. I did actually do a Candy Crate unboxing. I didn't know the Candy Crate is actually owned by the same people that do Pop and Candy. They just are doing a candy only one. I had no idea. Um, he told me when I did the unboxing. I had really no idea. So there you go. Um, but yeah, we've got these in the in the Candy Crate uh, box and we've got them in the Pop and Candy box now. Smarties, they're very much like refreshers, like love hearts. They're very good. Next, we have a Snickers, the peanut butter Snickers. There's two little ones in each one. And from a from a calorie point of view, there's 250 calories in that. That's not too bad. So if you had one little half of it, one little half of the Snicker, you'd only have 125 calories, which is good for a little snack. Um, I'm gonna stop with the calories though. I'm just gonna tell these as they are. Peanut butter Snickers, very good. Next, we have some nerds. We have six packs of nerds. We have the what are they? The lemon wild lemon lemon wild cherry, which is yellow for some reason. I guess because it's yeah, lemon rather than cherry. And we have the uh, the strawberry, which is which is pinky rather than red. Nerds. I'm not a big fan of nerds to be honest. I don't like the fact they're small and hard and crunchy. I like softer sweets. Give me old okay K for going wrong and dang. Yeah, I don't. Not a massive fan of nerds. They'll be they'll be eaten by someone I'm sure, but probably not by me. But yeah, either way, packet of nerds. Talking of chewy things, we have some high chews. These I do like. These are the strawberry ones. They are awesome. They do feel like you're eating bubble gum and you feel like your, your whole body says don't swallow it because you know with bubble gum you shouldn't be swallowing. But um, these are good. These are high chews. They are, I think, originally were made in Japan, but I might be utterly wrong. I think they were originally made in Japan. Uh, strawberry high chews, excellent. Next up we have the Three Musketeers. These are one of my favorite bars. These are really, really cool. Um, I can't, I think they're just chocolatey, I think. I can't remember. I think they're just literally just chocolate, I think. Like a chocolate bar, like a whisper maybe. I can't remember if I'm wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me. But yeah, I do like these anyway. I remember having them in previous boxes and they're always really nice. It wouldn't be one of these unboxings without some Mrs. Freshlies. We have the mini sugared donuts. There are six little donuts in um, in a box, in a pack here. And I was watching one of Roman Atwood's vlogs the other day, yesterday maybe, and he went out and got a load of treats. And I'm sure they had some of these donuts in his bo box. So um, clearly it's a, uh, in his bag of goodies that he bought. So clearly these are quite a popular treat in America. Um, yeah, Mrs. Freshly's mini donuts. Anyone like my big hunk? <laughs> um, yeah, big hunk, low fat, gluten free, chewy, honey sweetened nougat with whole roasted peanuts. They've had these before, it's a bit of a, very hard indeed. Um, big hunk, chewy nougat, tasty nommy noms. And the, big sigh from the dock. The final item is some pocker strawberry milk in a can. It's not fizzy, I don't know how it stays um, fresh, but it's probably just like some kind of UHT kind of thing. Yeah, strawberry milk. Um, one of the other family members will drink this. I won't, I don't like strawberry milk. I like thick milkshake, but I don't like runny flavored milks at all. Um, but there, someone will eat it, someone will drink it, and it'll be very much appreciated, I'm sure. Strawberry milk. And the final item, the pièce de résistance in the box, is the Harry Potter pop figure. I am collecting pop figures by the Potter story franchise world realm thing. Um, yeah, all the Harry Potters I'm trying to get. I've got about eight or nine or ten of those ones now. Um, I've got lots of Harry Potters. I've got lots of of Walking Dead, I've got more Walking Dead, lots of Walking Dead, they're up on the shelf. Probably you might be able to see some of them behind me up on the top bit up, sort of up there somewhere. Uh, uh, no, they're, they're there, they're behind me, my fingers don't work backwards, up there anyway. Um, and then behind me, they're right behind me is the Harry Potter ones that I've got. This is Harry Potter with the Herbology um, thing, yeah, it's got a little, I, I don't even know if you're going to be able to, you won't be able to see this, but in his hand he's got a little mandrake. Um, you can just see it there kind of thing, the little mandrake, if I can show it without zooming in. If I can show it on screen, I might get a little cut out of it and put it on screen properly so you can see it. 
um, because it's quite cool and it's quite a detailed one. It's got his little ear defenders on and you can get um, Harry, Ron and um, Hermione all with the little mandrakes. You can also get Ginny Weasley, Gilderoy Lockhart, Tom Riddle and the Nearly Headless Nick which I actually do have as well. The Nearly Headless Nick one is awesome, it's like a ghost one. Really really cool um, and you can get a limited edition one which glows in the dark which I haven't got. They're quite rare um, but yeah I'm collecting as many Harry Potter ones as I can. As I can. I'd like to definitely get as met well I'd like to get all of them if I can because I do love the Harry Potter films um, but yeah there you go that is the pop for this month um, again you get random pops it's not if everyone bought this box they wouldn't all get the Harry Potter pop they wouldn't get the Hermione one or Ron one it could be a completely random pop um, and yeah if you want to get your own there'll be a link in the description there may well be a discount code as well to get some money off your first box and um, it's not subscription remember that it is not subscription if you buy this month or next month's one that's it you pay one month and that's your lot then if you don't order again you won't get another one so some see that as a good thing, I do personally, others see it as a bad thing, they want to order and forget about it, but no, you order once and if you want to keep getting it, then you just order every month whenever you want it. Um, anyway guys, if you enjoyed this, a like would be appreciated, if you enjoyed my content, a subscribe, hit that subscribe button as well, that would be fantastic, and um, yeah, I'll see you soon for another unboxing on the channel. Bye!